Stephanie, the Medical University of South Carolina is preparing for six season with illnesses like the flu, COVID and RSV often hitting hard in the fall and into the winter. Life Five's Melissa Rademacher talked to doctors about what they're seeing and what they're prepping for. MUSC is heeding the message from DHEC that this year the RSV respiratory illness may hit hard, but they're introducing a treatment that has doctors hopeful. MUSC is also monitoring COVID and flu cases. They say those case numbers right now are higher than they were at this time last year. Right now, locally, we don't see evidence of uh, a high rising spike, a spike of influenza. Um, uh, yet uh, there are worrisome signs for the states that surround us around RSV, though. Thatcher and DHEC cite a rise in cases of RSV in Georgia and Florida that they expect to extend to South Carolina. Many people did not develop natural immunity from exposure to RSV simply because the prevention measures that were put in place for COVID actually protected people from other respiratory illnesses so they didn't develop that natural immunity. But she believes a monoclonal antibody treatment that the FDA approved this summer will be a game changer. We saw the number of hospitalizations in these uh, young children when this product was not available. So if we have a product that gives them protective antibody, we certainly believe that it will save lives. As for the now seasonal COVID and the flu, doctors advise getting the vaccines will prevent spikes in cases and death, especially to the vulnerable populations. There's some common themes between influenza, RSV, and COVID-19 that we see, honestly, at the extremes of age. Um, so those that are very young, uh, when it comes to those uh, really under the age of one or two years of life, and then those of advanced age. And we're usually talking about those in their 60s or older. In Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.